All right, everybody, welcome into the Lantern Sports Wrap-Up Show. I'm your host, Casey Smith, alongside Jacob Binge and Stephen Kishpaul. We're here at the Woody Hayes Athletic Center here on this Wednesday evening, and we heard from a select group of players. Jacob, who'd you hear from tonight and what they have to say? Yeah, Ohio State made almost its entire offense available tonight, and it was fun listening to Kate Stover and Mayan Williams just because they're two playmakers there on Ohio State. It's really explosive offense so far this season. You know, talking with Kate Stover, he had that big game there against Toledo, I believe three catches for over 80 yards, something that, you know, an Ohio State tight end hasn't done here in a good handful of years. And, you know, he talked about how getting those catches, he's, he mentioned C.J. Stroud is the best football player he's, he's played with who has the football in his hands, even when he even referenced Chase Young and Justin Fields who have come through the Ohio State football program. Um, talking with Mayan Williams as well, he gave a rundown in his own self-evaluation of uh, Dallin Hayden's performance there against Toledo, um, another standout performance from a first-year running back. Um, then he talked about T.C. Caffey's big touchdown run there. He said he wasn't surprised about, with Dallin Hayden's performance there, and T.C. Caffey's um, running style is very similar to his own. And I got to talk to the linebacking core, really, of Steel Chambers and Tommy Eichenberg, and they both had the general sentiment of even though we've been playing well, we're still extremely hungry. He says that, or Eichenberg said that Jim Knowles has the defense working 110% every single, every single day because he does not want the defense to get complacent. Because last season, when the defense either sort of overlooked the opponent or just didn't game plan properly, they got burnt a lot. And so Eichenberg and Chambers both just reiterated the fact that the defense is going to remain hungry, and you'll see it this weekend against Wisconsin. Yeah, for sure. That defense has to remain hungry, especially against a Wisconsin team that's really ground and pound and grinded out. Um, so that, that was a great point. We'll have that more for you in uh, our preview that we'll do tomorrow, myself and Gabe Burgraff. Uh, this has been the Lantern Sports Wrap-Up Show, though, uh, here at the Woody Hayes Athletic Center. Jacob Binge and Stephen Kishpaw. I'm Casey Smith. Until next time, take care.